welcome to Mixologist. Today we're going to be looking at cocktail equipment. Um, so I'm going to be introducing you to all the different kinds of equipment you might want when you make cocktails. So basically I will be comparing different types of shakers, juicers, and jiggers. So actually in making this video I did a lot of research about the origins of shakers just because I was curious and I thought you guys might be too. And it does appear that shakers originated in South America actually. They found fragments of gourds with traces of alcohol in them dating back to 7000 BCE. In 1520 CE, um, explorer Hernando Cortez was actually sending letters back to Spain talking about this golden cylinder. Um, with which people were making this, these frothy cacao drinks. Pretty interesting that they were probably even drinking cocktails back then. Um, so the shaker that we think of nowadays, so like this kind, became part of bars around the mid 19th century. Prior to that, the preferred way of mixing drinks was just, was basically just taking two glasses and tossing the drink back and forth between them. But the story goes that somebody, probably an innkeeper or someone like that, uh, was like, nah, this isn't working. And they came up with the idea of putting the two glasses together instead of just, you know, moving it back and forth between them, have them together. The New York Times actually gives credit to George Foster for providing the first description of the modern modern shaker in 1848, but actually metal bar shakers were standard pretty much by the mid 50s, um, 1850s that is. So it's questionable that he, you know, actually, you know, introduced them. They were they were probably around before he described them in his um, writings. Through the end, end of the 19th century. Patents were flooding in for all kinds of twists and tweaks and just terrible, terrible ideas to improve the simple cocktail shaker. And really from these, only three types of shakers have actually survived to this day. And those are the Boston shaker, the French shaker, and the cobbler shaker. So the first modern shakers were likely introduced in the 1840s and were versions of the Boston Shaker. The Boston Shaker is a tin cup used in combination with a glass to shake, to mix drinks. And this one has stayed popular, actually, but the name Boston Shaker didn't come around until much later, around the 20th century. In Europe, they were using a two-part tin shaker, and this is the French Shaker. And they actually still, um, use that in Europe and it just never gained favor in America for some reason, probably because it included the extra step of having to strain the alcohol after shaking and we don't like extra steps. Edward Hawk in 1884, I hope I'm saying his name right, invented what was known as the cobbler shaker. Um, he added a built-in strainer and a little top so it's very handy and, and that's actually what most Americans will use. In the 1920s, stainless steel became the preferred material for shakers, and it's really what remains popular today. So most shakers you find will be made of stainless steel. So we're gonna start with my regular shaker, which is a cobbler shaker. It's made by Crescimo. I really like it, it's a really nice shaker. Um, it has a built-in strainer, as I showed you. It seals really, really well when there's ice in it. It also comes with a jigger, with a stirring spoon, and a little recipe book. So it's really great for beginners. It was great for me when I was just getting into mixology and cocktails. My only complaints with this shaker are that it can be really hard to get the top off. Um, of course, it's coming off now, but at times, um, especially after shaking with cold drinks, and dry shaking can be very messy with it. You just have to hold it down really tight. Um, the next kind of shaker is a glass shaker, um, which is pretty much just like the cobbler, but this one is cool because it has the cocktail recipes right on it, um, although they faded a bit. 
it, it does scare me, I will admit, because I am very accident prone and I probably would break it. But it is easier to remove the top because it's glass and metal instead of all metal. A question I hear a lot actually is why do you even need a shaker? Shaking is not only mixes and aerates the ingredients in your cocktail, but it also dilutes the cocktail and makes it cold. This is just the standard method for cocktails that contain you know, cream, citrus, juices, or citrus juices rather, egg whites. Um, however, you know, certain cocktails can actually just be stirred with a stirring spoon. Uh, just a drink, a martini, shaken, not stirred. And those include the Manhattan or the Old Fashioned. Stirring is generally recommended for cocktails where you're using all spirit ingredients when every ingredient is clear or when you don't want a lot of dilution. Jiggers, okay, well, as you can see, uh, these can come in, in different sizes. Here I have mine, which is a one ounce and a half ounce. So it's, you know, basically very convenient for the cocktails, but I actually prefer this one because this one comes in two ounces on one side and one ounce on the other. However, you might see one and a half ounce ones and three quarter ones. Because traditionally a serving of straight liquor is one to one and a half, or sorry, one and a half ounces. And so traditional jiggers are generally one and a half ounces on one side and you know three quarter or half on the other side. And actually the smaller side is called a pony. I'm not sure why it's called a pony, but there you go. Now most cocktails do have about two ounces of liquor in them, alcohol, liquor, give or take. So one and a half of the base liquor, whatever that is, and half an ounce of whatever else you're putting in there. So that's why jiggers come in these sizes and they're obviously perfect. So in terms of juicers, oh gosh, there are many different kinds of juicers. Um, I personally prefer this kind of juicer simply because it's handheld and you can squeeze it directly into the shaker. So, you know, that can be very convenient. However, you'll need a lot of grip strength. Um, this one isn't so bad, but I use another one that's all that's stainless steel and it's, it's actually kind of hard to you know squeeze all the juice up. And then these are the other kinds. So you know the ones you stick directly in the fruit and you you know twist it. This type where you twist the fruit on it on this thing. Um, I use this one in my other videos. And then there's this really cool old-fashioned one. Um, which is actually what most bartenders use today because they squeeze their juice ahead of time. You might wanna do that if you are having a party or you're making a lot of cocktails at one time. It's really useful to squeeze all your juice ahead of time and just keep it in a container. But no matter what juicer you have or you get, do not use concentrated juices from the market. Only use fresh fruit for cocktails. I just have to reiterate that. The difference is just really huge between, you know, those little things shaped like limes and fresh lime juice, fresh lemon juice. But anyway, that's it for basic equipment. Um, this is the stirring spoon I already showed you, but most cocktail kits will come with this. Don't worry too much about glassware if you're just starting out. You know, you can just use whatever you have on hand. It's really just, just have fun and then decide which equipment works the best for you because that's really a personal preference. You gotta play around and see what you like. But anyway, thank you for joining me today and uh, cheers.